Lifestyle Show from People You Know with Emily Irwin. Now, Central Valley Today. Welcome back to Central Valley Today. In today's world, it's so important to be proactive about your health, which is why it's so important to find a practice that values time. And that's why we're here today at Hanson Smith Family Medicine, where time is something they give all of their patients. So I'm here with Dr. Karen Hanson Smith, and we were talking a little bit about your practice and how it's a little bit different than what most people are used to. So explain sort of what the philosophy here is at your practice practice and, and how things kind of work. Sure, so my practice is a full family practice medicine practice and it's the way that it's run is just a little bit different so instead of relying on volumes of patients we have patients pay a membership fee to be a part of a much smaller group of people over whom I can take better care and with that I don't charge anything else so when a person comes into the practice I uh, don't bill a deductible or copay through their insurance it's just the membership fee is all they pay with that a person gets total access to me yeah so I am the only one in the office. When you contact the office, you're contacting me. All my patients have my cell phone, all my patients have my email, so I'm the one that they get. I can see people the same day or the next day that they call. We can spend as much time as needed to take care of the issues that they've got. It isn't like many practices yes. where they have to see 50 patients in a day. You've got five minutes to yeah. tell me the one thing that you have to deal with, and if you have two, you make another appointment. Yeah. Not like that at all. I have a, an office where it feels like you're just sitting down having a cup of coffee with a friend yeah we sit down and talk about what's bothering you I like to listen a lot and then I also like to educate a lot about why I think a person has the diagnosis I think they have um, what sorts of treatment options there are I will have patients who will say I would rather do anything than take a medication mm -hmm. so give me the diet and exercise let me know what else I can do and then I have some patients who say I don't have time for any of that just give me the pill and I treat a patient the way they feel like they as a specialist in their own body needs to be treated so I consider myself a partner in their yeah. health care how, how did you discover this type of practicing medicine because you said you came from a very traditional set so how did you discover this and, and what prompted you, what motivated you to start this practice? Sure. Well, I was in group practices for 10 years and my body just gave out on me. Yeah. Trying to give my patients everything I needed to give them, keep up with all of the paperwork. Um, at the last practice where I was, I had 3,600 patients to take care of and that's far too many. With this type of a practice, uh, direct primary care or concierge medicine or private pay practice, they recommend that you take in no more than 600 and mm -hmm. I do just 300. So my quality of life is so much yeah. better. Um, I had gotten to the point where I had severe fatigue and I was going to doctors to try to figure out, am I anemic? Is my liver failing me? What's going on? Yeah. Um, and it was, I was so overworked. I was so overstressed trying to give my patients what they needed that I was spending 10 hours a day on my days off just trying to catch up yeah. with paperwork and it didn't suit my family it didn't suit me and it didn't suit my patients the the stress from working mm -hmm. can be I mean people don't realize how detrimental stress can be to your lives and sometimes you know when I'm talking about my job my mom's like you're not saving lives but you are actually <laughs> saving lives so it could it it could really really take a toll on your body which is not good for your patients right. not good for you what are the the health outcomes? What are the benefits for the patients in a practice like this? So one of the main things that I hear when people first come into my practice is I hate doctors. I hate going to see the doctor. I hate having to go to an office. Um, and I completely sympathize as a human being. I also have to go see doctors. Yeah. Um, I am often treated maybe a little bit better than other people because I have doctor in my name and people sure. want me to refer to them. And so they might oh that's a doctor get her in faster I don't know for sure if that's what happens <laughs> uh -huh. so if you are not going to see your doctor if you're not contacting your doctor you're not getting medical help so the first thing that I let people know is contact me it is literally my pleasure to help people and if I know that you have suffered over the weekend with something that you could have called me Sunday morning or texted me Sunday yeah. morning and I could have gotten you treated you didn't have to wait until Monday if you find out that you're out of your medications Friday evening text me I'll, f I'll send them into your pharmacy for you. So there's a continuity of care that mm -hmm. is there. Um, people are much less afraid to connect with me. Yeah. And so they get my expertise. Where people who have a doctor that they can never see mm -hmm. never get that help. 
Yeah. And it's it's very overwhelming to go into an office where you already feel time constraints. Right. You know your doctor is not going to spend a lot of time with you. Mm -hmm. And I can prepare, I mean, I prepare for interviews right. all the time right. and I will prepare for this visit and I will inevitably forget something. Mm -hmm. And then it's another, you know, six months before right. I get to talk to them about something. And it also feels like I never reach out unless something is really, really wrong. Right. You know, I, I don't have that relationship with, with someone to focus on my well-being from day to day mm -hmm. like you know I shouldn't be bloated all the time mm -hmm. like if I had somebody I could text we could work through that so I feel like there are many many benefits for a practice like this how do people become your patient how do they get set up with you so I've got a website mm -hmm. hanson-smith.com um, and there is a contact information page if you want to contact me that way um, I also have a phone number and I'm sure we'll have that on on screen as well uh, that they can call um, the biggest questions I often get are what insurance do mm -hmm. you take are you taking new patients and I do have space for new patients now um, and because I don't bill insurance it doesn't really matter all that much which insurance a patient has sure. other than if a person has an HMO and their their insurance company has assigned them to a primary care doctor uh -huh. they consider that person their doctor so if they need a referral to a specialist or to get a special test it has to come from that doctor it couldn't come from me right I do have some patients that have that sort of insurance I will write a letter to that doctor and say here's the workup we've done here's what I think needs to be done um, people that have Kaiser obviously have to go to Kaiser. We have to go to Kaiser. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, um, I've got people with insurance, without insurance, with all sorts of different kinds of insurances. Um, so those are sort of the biggest questions. But no insurance covers that fee. Right, right, right. But if you send somebody out for blood tests or for a scan of some type, then you would go exactly. to the insurance. Exactly. This is such. You, you know, we talk about innovating in all all aspects of life, and this is such an interesting and innovative way to think about medicine. Mm -hmm. and to tr especially if you're treating in an area like the Central Valley where there are very specific needs we are we're a very unique part of California mm -hmm. and so you know you want somebody who lives here and who knows these people very well right. so I'm so happy that you invited me in here today we will have all of the information online if you're interested we will put all of Dr. Hanson Smith's information online thank you so much thank you and after the break, we're on location. We learn how one company is paving the way for agriculture here in the Central Valley. We speak with the president of Aerofan for our Eye on Ag series when we return.